Uh, Brandon in New York, you're on Fez. Hey, Ronnie, love the show. Yeah. I, right. I just wanted to uh, tell Dave, you, you don't get fever blisters on your cock. It's, uh, it's definitely herpes. You should probably see a different doctor. Well, the doctor I saw told me it was not herpetic, and that's what I'm sticking to. And I, I swear on my children. And then wh why when the doctor said that your fucking kid was special needs, you won't stick to that? <laughs> I have a hard proud time sticking to some things. Not with the fucking lie about your herpes. <laughs> he said it wasn't herpetic, so. But then I'm going to give you herpes medicine. <laughs> not used for any other reason. Well, I called a, di a different doctor for the herpes medicine. Sure you did. You doctor we all know and love. <laughs> oh, Dr. Steve? Yeah, and he was the one who got it for me. Because I'm like, Doc, he tells me it's not herpetic. He's but... treating you from afar? <laughs> Dr. Steve's the best. Just the best. Love Dr. Steve. For all your prescriptions. There's nothing weird about the medicine he gave me, <laughs> baby. It's pretty straightforward stuff. Put these on your cock and you won't have any more spots. Is that what you rub it on? No, I mean, I take it. I take it in the thing. Yeah, because I don't understand that. It was a pill form. I don't even know why I said that myself. Yeah, it does make sense. Nothing you say makes any <laughs> fucking uh, sense at all. Now, another thing that's happening in my ball area is I'm developing a giant rash, and I don't even know why that is. I don't want to hear about your cock and balls. That's the smallest problems I've ever heard in my life. I call it double trouble now. If your balls and your fucking dick have, have issues, what the hell? That's like a really dirty area. <laughs> it's because you're fucking jacking off with another mitt. You got to stop it. Well, you're right about that because when I jerked off la um, yesterday in the car, I had to use my son's little wool winter hat. Oh, God. <laughs> he left it in the car. <laughs> he left it. He's fine. <laughs> He didn't, he didn't leave it. You don't, you're not fucking emptying the car out after a baby. So you took a baby's cap. His wool winter hat. And then jerked off in it. Yeah. I, you, well, I used it for cleanup. Worst dad ever. First of all, I think it's an awful dad who jerks off in the car. I got my little bottle right here in my bag. I think it's called Wet and Wild. Personal lubricant. And the weird thing is, it might be wet, but there's nothing wild about you. It should be wet and pathetic. <laughs> Well, uh, and you jerk off every day driving home? You you go to the train? It's become a habit. I can't say every day. I'll say three or four times a week. And you're where? Jersey Turnpike? Um, Turnpike into the parkway. All right. So you're driving 60, 65 miles an hour? Yes, absolutely. Because it's a 65 mile an hour zone. and But luckily my car has cruise control. Oh, that is lucky. So I take my feet off the pedals and I kind of recline a little bit and spank it. And I'll usually put on some kind of chick station on the radio you know like that maybe christina aguilera or something like that yeah so just hearing them sing <laughs> right. and then you're jerking off into your yeah. baby's cap and you feel like a million bucks although recently i've been able to um i can't download porn on my phone but I, what i do is I, I videotape it on my phone from a computer screen and so i can do it like that too but you're not worried about fucking turning that thing over turning the car over uh, sometimes, but like what I do is I put the phone in my left hand, and that also has the, the left hand has also with the steering wheel, and so that's that's my and then I'm spanking with the right hand, so it's perfect. Are you sitting straight up? Or are you leaning back a bit? Um, I'm leaning back a little bit. I mean, I'm look. I'm gonna have my eyes on the road for crying out loud. I'm not gonna be a menace. But this doesn't even strike you as pathetic. Not really. It's like so. I I need it. I need that. I need for it to come out of me. I need to come to to, to leave. He, cha he tapes his porn while I'm in the room <laughs> and then yells at me if I say anything. <laughs> it's well, he's fucking odd. Porn. He's had plenty of ruined videos of me just laughing or he yelling at him in the background. Yeah, because if, if I hear a soundtrack of Pepper laughing underneath my porn clips, it totally destroys the erection, you know? It's like two chicks are, you know, doing something with each other and then I hear Pepper giggling. You, it's going to take you fucking to hear Pepper giggle in the future for you to even come. <laughs> You know, this is the weirdest thing. Charlie Kaufman could not dream up a character as pathetic as you. <laughs> All we need is really depressing music to show you driving down the fucking road to a place you don't want to go, jerking off into a child's cap. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, it, it, but it makes me feel better. I mean, you say depressed... No, it's a depressing thing to happen. Right. Okay. It's a good... It's, it, 
it relieves me. What can I say? Also, here's the other reason I think I, um, I've, I've discovered why I do it. It's a two-hour commute, so I need something to pass the time away when I'm driving. On the bus, I'll read. Yeah, but you're doing acrobatic masturbation. It's fucking ridiculous. This is, uh, this is fucking daredevil stuff. Right. Um, and then you're coming all over your stupid shirt and wiping it up in your fucking baby's cap. Yeah, that's exactly. In fact, I jizzed on this shirt on Tuesday. Uh, Don, Don, you're on Ron Fez. Hey, Eastside Dave, you are a pathetic loser. You are disgusting, and what you're doing is illegal, and you should be. I hope you get caught today. I love it. Bring it. I'll fucking send it to TMZ if he gets caught. <laughs> Bring it. If, if you can catch me. Bring it. Uh, James, James, you're on Ronnie Fez. Hey, Ronnie. Yeah. Dave, I'm here for the truck drivers. Can you please not do that? Because when we check our mirrors, we see you guys, and it just disgusts us. Well, I'll tell you what. Is there a lot of people doing that? I, um, the worst ones are the ones that pull up next to you and block you in, so you have to watch them because you're trying to keep your truck safe on the road. And they, they want you to see them. Yeah, and it just pisses you off, and that throws me into road rage faster than anything. And I have to just calm down and keep it together. When I was in uh, first grade, we were going to the Philadelphia Art Museum with the whole class in a, in a fucking uh, bus. Mm -hmm. And uh, these two kids start laughing that I know. And I'm like, what's going on? They go, some guy, some man had his pee-pee out, right? We're so little, they use the word pee-pee. So we're sitting there on the fucking bus going, was he going to piss that? We couldn't even figure out that he was jerking off. So we're going, what kind of fucking loser pisses in his own car? What the fuck is wrong with, with this fucking city? It's over. And now that's how you're going to be. I mean, we were children, and we knew that this guy was weird and disgusting. Whenever I see a vehicle that's an SUV or you know some car, kind of car that's raised, I, I I do stop because I'm I am paranoid that they'll see me. Now here's what I don't understand, Dave. When people repeat this story and when they write it up on online about how disgusting that you are, you and your family get angry about it. Um, well, and yet you go and share a story like this that is about as anti. Uh, social as a human being can be. Really? Yeah. And yet, if people write this, oh, Dave's disgusting, look what he does. He's got a herpes dick, he jacks off into his kid's hat. Then you guys are act like they're haters out there, and let's fight back. Well, I don't think I act like that, I don't know. But if mm. someone does, well, you know, hey. Um, Dan, Dan in Florida, you're on my face. Hey, uh, Eastside Dave, I just got to ask you, man, you've, you've had some issues at home with your wife, and I think maybe some of your problems with your chick might stem from you jerking off too much, dude. You need to go home and fuck your wife. And with a herpes dick? No, it's clean now. I mean, well, well, it will be in a few days. Um, Whatever, man. Fuck your wife more, dude. Quit jerking off so much. It's ridiculous. I, I plan on it. Once the sun, once the sun gets... Uh, he, last night, he actually slept through the night for the first time ever. So that was exciting for Maybe us. Maybe it was the smell of that cap of his. <laughs> Stinking like fucking chlorine. Uh, Andrew, you're on a Fez. Hey, Ronnie D. Hey, Dave, I, are you worried when you wrap your car around a tree that the EMT is going to find you with cum knuckles? No, I'm not worried that about that. would be that. a highlight of his pathetic Charlie Kaufman life. I'm good at this. I should just jot down things that you fucking say. And just put it on fucking Broadway and have people come up like, he's invented a character <laughs> that is so loathsome, so disgusting, it could only come from the mind of a genius. <laughs> well, I don't. I never even thought about Charlie why Kaufman. Why don't we do that. this? Yeah. Let's just have a fucking documentary. We follow you for a week. Oh. You're jerking off in the car. You're getting drunk in front of two babies and fucking screaming Beatles songs. Right. I'd be all for it. <laughs> I've always wanted to be a movie star. I want to do an over-under here. I got two years before he starts pushing a cart full of fucking ugly belongings around the city <laughs> and sleeping outside. I'll take the uh, action on the under. Now, I was... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think... Uh... Well, it was going to be one month. <laughs> Now, I was watching a homeless guy yesterday. I was smoking a cigar in my neighborhood. So he's got his fucking thing, right? 
And actually, he wasn't a bad-looking guy. He was yeah. only like 40. He had kind of cool glasses. But, uh, you know, he was definitely homeless. But his mismatched clothes kind of looked more hipsterish. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like It was right. kind of like the hipster kid's dress. So I see him eat something out of the trash can. And then he grabs this uh, Federal Express box that was in there mm-hmm. and just starts reading it and going over it. And I'm watching him. I'm like, this. he almost looks like a guy in his office <laughs> trying to figure out what this package was supposed <laughs> to mean. But instead, then he just throws it away and starts pushing his fucking <laughs> cart. I'm like, I don't know the distance between him and Dave. Yeah. And it may only be one rent check and, you know, your parents yeah. love. Oh, I think so. And I mean... um, you mentioned uh, eating out of garbage cans. I've eaten out of the Opie and Anthony office garbage cans all the time because those guys waste a lot of food. I had a half a cupcake that was eaten yesterday, and they left some Wendy's hot, uh, some Wendy's um, dipping sauce in it. No actual chicken to dip it in, but I still ate the, the dipping sauce right out of the garbage can. I do it often. In fact, Eric Nagel caught me one time. Uh, and you've brought this up to me before, Hicks, that you see him eating out of the trash can. Out of our garbage, uh, he'll take... Uh, food that I throw out, and just immediately, as soon as I throw it out, just pick it up and eat. Let me say this. Cross and Bladder should be ashamed of themselves that they've got someone on this fucking payroll eating out of garbage. Why? It's what do you mean, why? why waste food? It, it means that you're not making enough money, you fucking oh, yeah. ham and egger. No, I, I, you I don't I even have ham and eggs. <laughs> you fucking trash can ham and egger. <laughs> yeah, I know. It would be ham wrapper and egg shell. John. John in Alabama, you're on a fez. David? Yes? Hey, if you're in an accident and that airbag goes off, your dick's going to get blown right off into your pocket. Never thought of that, and I do have an airbag in that car. Let me tell you something. That airbag still won't hit his dick. (laughs) His dick isn't any. He's safe. Uh, Jason. Jason, you're on my face. Hey, guys. Yeah, I just wanted to say that last trucker that called in, Mr. Trucker Fucker, if there was a, if there was a hot chick driving beside him on the way down the highway and boxed him in, was over there doing that, I don't think he'd be calling and bitching about anything, do you? <laughs> I, I've known chicks who say that they like to fucking do this, that they like to do this particularly to truckers. Wow, that's awesome. And these are like, you know, people from the outside would think they're fucking normal, but, you know, obviously they're twisted. <laughs> they're very twisted people. <laughs> Uh, 866 run zero fez 866 run zero fez um, John in Wyoming, you're on a fez. Hey, uh, Dave, I just wanted to share something with you. A friend of mine got caught doing the same thing one day. He was going on the highway, got caught jacking off, caught pulling over for speeding. They nailed him for lewd and lascivious conduct. He ended up going to jail, and he has to register as a sex offender for hey, the rest of his here's life. Here's what I don't understand. If, as soon as you see those lights, why wouldn't you pull your pants up? He was at the point that it happened. He was speeding. He didn't realize that he, what he was doing because he was jacking off. But the cop, the, the cop know, had cop to put on. Up. Yeah, but the cop put on the lights to pull him over. So if he knows he's going to yeah. get pulled over, well, p- pull your pants yeah, up. Pull up. Yeah, and, and just imagine, Dave, you're rushing to pull your pants up, and that cop walks up beside your car and wants to know what you were doing, rushing to pull your pants up, and then you got to explain yourself to him. I wouldn't say Think I did. It, I said I Think didn't. About I, it, Dave. I'm going to say I didn't. I, I didn't pull my pants up. You're mistaken. No, the cops so this is this is what you work on. Your yeah, defense. I think about this a lot. Instead of not doing it or doing it your own home. Right. I hate that this is the only place in life while you're 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 looking at your porn, you're <laughs> driving, you're jerking off into your son's cap. And then at work, you can't multitask. <laughs> he can multitask to do his fucking sick behavior. Well, you know, when you're in, uh, passionate, I mean, when, I mean when, when you're dick, you know, you know what I mean. Driver, you're on my face. Yeah, you're passionate. That's how we think of with you. Hey, uh, Ronnie, it's not just the men and women going solo. I've actually seen couples tearing it up going down the highway. No, that's fine. No, well, now, why is that fine? That's an excellent point. I mean, if two people are banging, you know, I'm doing the exact same thing. But by yourself. <laughs> and you're hanging out your little herpes dick. But the point is, masturbation is a sexual act no different than intercourse. And I bet that little dick of yours glows like a lightsaber at night. <laughs> oh, yeah. I always do it at nighttime. Always. So there. So, I, I mean, hope people you forget are... once and have people in the car with you. And you just fucking forget about it. <laughs> uh, Tom, Tom, you're on a fez. 
I get infuriated every time Dave brings up this topic. Dave, you're going to kill somebody. You're going to plow head on into some other family when your eyes are closed in ecstasy. It's the parkway. There's no other lane to co collide head on with people. Yeah, there's never any accidents on that road. It's fucking so great. Because I don't watch the news, Dave. <laughs> no, but I mean, he said head on. I mean, and I am going to be driving driver. the wrong way, like in uh, planes, trains, and uh, automobiles. Well, look how many people out here. Look at this guy. Landon in Texas. You're on Fez. What's going on, man? Hey, man, I used to work for uh, the, the state. And uh, when I'd be driving to all these different prisons and stuff, it would be such a long drive that I would go by and just start jerking off right in the van and just pass time and do whatever. Yeah, it's a, it's a time passer. I agree with that. Every single day, two hours up, two hours back, you got to pass the time a little. Your life is a fucking, serious. it's a damaged wreck. All right, Hicks, here's the worst fucking question in the world. If you could switch places with Dave or Fez, you had to take one of their lives, which one would you be? I'd be Fez. I don't know. Really? I have two wonderful children, a wife. I'm, a, I'm actually a happy person. You got person. one and a half wonderful children. <laughs> All right. But I'm a happy guy. Are you? Relatively. I would say 85% happy. Would oh. I be as miserable as Fez if I, uh, if I well, was Fez? I, I think you could quantum leap it. Okay. I'll spend some of that money. <laughs> You'd be the first one. <laughs> you have to work on your sick voice then. Hi, guys. I, listen, I heard what everyone <laughs> said about Dave's dick. Uh, here is uh, Matt. Matt, you're on my Fez. Roddy, me. How's it going? Yeah. Hey, uh, chick I was dating at the time was driving down the road, masturbated with an apple. Holy mackerel. That sounds like something that could get stuck in there. Apple sauce. Pork chops <laughs> and apple sauce. All right, this was written to me here. Uh, it said, smart move, Pepper, because Dave's life is over and Fez is just starting. Oh, I don't see that. My life is over? No. Well, in terms of your enjoyment. Hmm. I, I enjoy my life. Uh, here is um, Mike in Canada. You're on Fez. Yeah, I uh, I represented a client uh, who got uh, in an accident. Uh, he was driving along on a single lane each way and uh, was uh, beating his meat. And he sideswiped another car, and his mirror came in, shattered glass all over him. Um, cop happened to come along behind. He was kind of pinned in the car. The cop walks up to the car, looks in, sees that he's uh, he's got his pants down around his ankle. He's got some lube on the front seat of his car, an open, dirty magazine. And if that isn't good enough, he's got a pull up. He's got a blow up doll on the back seat. Oh Jesus! <laughs> and you know what? That's still less pathetic than having your child's fucking cap. There's nothing else to do. I will. Wa By the way, I will definitely wash that hat before uh, I, the next time he puts it on his head. You're the exact opposite of Mafia Life Chris, who won't even get a blowjob from his from his fucking uh, wife. You actually come in your kid's hat. <laughs> uh, Tony, you're on a fez. Hey, uh, Dave. I got two things for you. Yeah. One is you you drive you commute to work four hours out each day, correct? Yes. Why don't you just move back in uh, New York there and get a part-time job? Shit, you can work at UPS for four hours a day loading trailers. Plus, you get insurance on top of that. And two, what do you think Casey thinks about you talking about all this stuff on the air? How do you think that makes her feel every night, you know, when she listens to this? Oftentimes, oftentimes she is in the uh, fantasies. I'll watch the porn and imagine her being with one of the women. That's A. B. The city so she expensive. should feel uh, great that you imagine her being with a fucking sleazy porn star. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't throw sleazy in there. I meant a wonderful porn star. <laughs> yeah, she should feel fine about it. No, because I've never had porn stars on the show. <laughs> They're all great. <laughs> and we haven't, you know, um, we're, we... The fact of the matter is our son's had to sleep with us all the time. You know, he's he's really taken all attention. But when he starts, if he starts sleeping the, the nights, okay, then, you know, the good times begin again. And, yeah, hopefully then I'll stop this, this type of behavior. Hopefully. 
But you've even told us before, you've masturbated all over the country. Oh, sure. Not That's so something that I enjoy. I can still bang, hope, you know, that, that night, as long as like four or five hours go by. I can still, I can still bang that night, too. But I do like to masturbate and, and just, you know, as, as, as in, in many places What's as possible. What's the longest you went without masturbation? <laughs> Come on. Uh, well, we did one time on the air here, and it was like maybe 10 days, maybe. You, you started going crazy. Yeah, it was too much. It was way too much. Your skin turned bad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just, I was very, uh, I couldn't sleep, for starters, and so then I was tired, and I was, at the same time, I felt wired. I felt tired and on speed at the same time. Yeah. I can't imagine, you know, Earl Douglas used to say he didn't, he didn't spank he it. He went years. I can't, I don't understand why. I think it actually physically fucks a man up. We have to I do it. I bet he's got a gooey prostate just filled with old cum. <laughs> it's just dust in there. Just chips. <laughs> just fucking old cum chips. <laughs> uh, here is Andy in Cleveland. Hey, Dave, just a bit of strategy for you. You should probably keep uh, a spare woman's shoe in the passenger footwell next to you. That way, when you do roll your car from spanking your cock, uh, your Frankencock, that is, uh, and, the, and the trooper is actually giving you shit for masturbating on, on the turnpike, uh, you can say that in the resultant accident, there was a woman ejected from the vehicle who was blowing you, officer, and frankly, you should be looking for her mangled body rather than staring at my any dick. Well, that's very complicated. Well, this is the weird thing. You've told us you've only had sex five times this year. Five or six, yeah. Five or six. It's October, by the way. Right. Month 10. Well, yeah. It's the, the baby taking a lot of time this year. Yeah, the, you keep saying the baby's taking a lot of time. I, I don't understand that. Because he's had to sleep in the same room with us. And yet you're okay with masturbating into his hat. Well, he's not in the car with me. I would never in a million years do that. But you put the kid in a bassinet or something, right? You can't see him. He's still, he kind of needs to be in the room with us because he gets yeah, very... Yeah, so the bassinet would put him in the same room. Yeah, no, you can't. I, I wouldn't. I would never have any kind of sexual activity in front of. I mean, but you jerk off into his cap because he's not there. But I wouldn't have sex with him in the room. That's what we're waiting for. And because we have, he has his own room. We're just waiting for him to sleep through the night so that we can put him there. And like I said last night, he actually slept through the night for the first time ever. So that's extremely good news. But they say you ha he has to have like a string, like five or, or seven nights in a row. And if he does that, then he's going in that room and the fucking let the fucking commence. And then we'll get another. We'll get another <laughs> little fucking brother. Uh, you're a wild one. You're a mad fucking dog. It's none of our business. You, should, you can have plenty of part of our relationship. Why do you make a run of Bai Ling? She was in here. <laughs> I'm married. I'm happy. What's you're that left thing? I wasn't laughing at you, I was laughing at something Biling said. It doesn't seem like it. You looked at me, and then after I said, I, I'm happy, I'm married, and you, you chuckled. Well, it's just because you explained to us earlier how you masturbate in your kid's hat. <laughs> Which I've, you know, even in the old penthouse forum, they would never even have that. That would be a rejected fucking letter <laughs> to the editor. I'm driving down the fucking parkway, masturbating into my five-month-old's uh, wool cap. Well, now that you say that, I'm going to transcribe that audio and send it in. Maybe get a few dollars. <sighs> Cruck, I wish you were playing, buddy. I wish you weren't just fucking at the game. You're up I one wish nothing. I wish you'd shut up, please. What do you got to jinx, everybody?